I didn't stand a chance. She has an axe. I'm a child. What's up, rad people? On this channel, I have played lots of scary indie games. I love me a good spooky time, but something I've never really done before is play a scary mobile game. I mean, to be fair, I'm not much of a mobile game type of person, but lately I have been getting sucked into like all these mobile game apps and like just seeing if they live up to the expectations. But with horror games, there's like a whole nother element of it because for some reason, I've never really thought of while laying in bed at night, playing like something scary on my phone. But, I mean, it makes sense. You'd have something real close to your face so I could see it being scary, but also I feel like it just feels like it'd be less immersive. But today, I want to put that to the test. I want to find out, can mobile games be scary? Do they live up to the hype? Is there something that's just lacking about them? So today we are going to play a few scary mobile games and see what they're about and how that experience is. So let's get to it. So the first horror game we are playing is called Granny. Now I have heard a lot about this game, but not like really anything about the game itself. I feel like I've just seen like the memes and I've heard people mention Granny before, but I really don't know anything about it. So that's gonna be interesting. Okay, laptop, we get it. You're here. Gosh. Get out of there. You only have five days. All you need is in the house and be quiet. She hears everything and Granny is crazy. Good luck. Oh boy, I'm I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, not gonna lie, palms are a bit sweaty, not just because it's incredibly hot in here. What, what's, I don't, I don't, what's hap, why, why is my, my screen recorder going crazy? Oh wow, the graphics are actually pretty darn nice. Oh wow, the graphics are very nice. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm so pleasantly surprised. Oh, 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 oh I don't know. I don't I don't know what that was, but oh my god, it's like really like smooth. Oh, oh no, I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. Do I, do I click on things? How do I? What? what oh, 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 oh! I died. Oh, that was quick. I, I was not expecting that. Okay, day two. I have to leave this house. I don't understand the mechanics. Do I, oh, that's what you do. You click on the things as they appear. That makes sense, Keely and I. But you know, it's a learning experience. Never played a horror mobile game like this before. So how am I to know, you know? Oh, okay. Not honestly expecting to see out here. I was honestly expecting like a really dark house. And again, the controls to like actually turn my, <laughs> my field of view is, is not great. It feels like I have to like let go. Oh, okay, you can do the same at the same time. Okay, okay, learner experience. Oh, and she got me. Well, 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 dang. Oh, and then and there's the ad, that's a nice ad. Oh, it's for The Walking Dead, interesting. A day three, we're still continuing? Aren't I dead? <gasps> no, I have five days to get out of there. So she keeps bonking me on the head and I keep passing out and then waking up. Gotcha. You know, um, there's a lot to be inferred with this storyline. I don't get what I'm, I, I know I'm supposed to like hide and stuff. Okay, this is a very creepy bathroom. So I know I'm supposed to like be hiding. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh gosh darn it, she got me again. Now, ugh. there is some freaking learning experience that is required for this mobile game. Okay, uh, a lot of blood in my uh, view. That's not great, that's not cool. I, I think that's bad. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be like hiding more. And you know, that's on me. I'm probably just doing a really bad job of hiding. Uh, I, I'm really bad at fighting to Freddy, the whole hiding element. It's, it's just, it's not it's not my thing. I'm just, I'm not good. Oh, we can actually look around. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Maybe I'm supposed to shut the door behind me. Maybe that's a really important plot point. You know, not much is, is shared. I'm really, again, left to uh, figure this all out on my own. <laughs> um. This is a very interesting house. It's like a cabin, but like a mansion cabin. Uh, it's very brightly lit. I, I, I would think it'd be darker than this. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I knocked something over. Oh no, oh no, I knocked something over. She's definitely gonna come in. She had to hear that. They said sound is very important to this. If she doesn't hear this, then sound can't mean anything. I feel like the second I get out from under the bed, she's gonna be there. Oh, there she is. Okay, we're successfully hiding. Think we got this. Think she's gonna turn her butt around and go away. Why is Granny so mad? Why is she beating us with a bat? What What's happening? What's her deal? Does anyone know? Is there a story mode somewhere? How long do I have to wait for Granny to like... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, she was still there. So Granny is a grandma. She walks very slow. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, can I shut it? Can I shut it? Can I shut it? Can I shut it? Hide, 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 hide. Ooh, is she gonna get me? Is she gonna come in? Just shut it. Oh, there she is. Is she gonna know where I'm here? Is she gonna know I'm here? I mean, I'm hiding pretty good. I'm under this bed nice and snug. Wow, she really, really cannot bend down. It's not, it's not even attempting to look for us. Okay, I have to admit, got my heart racing a little bit. That was a little spooky. God, Granny, you're so freaking slow. So she must just like make her rounds. Oh no, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Oh, that's not great. I don't know how I got stuck. I got like pit in a corner and another ad. Oh boy. Like on one hand, it's a free game. They're giving you free content. They gotta make money. So like I get the ads, I do, but oh boy, it's a bad experience. Like how are you supposed to enjoy a scary game if there's an ad after like every minute or so? I don't, you know, I feel like it definitely takes you out of the immersion right away. We're just gonna go for it. Get me out, get me out. No, okay, yep, cannot, there's a lock on the door. Why do I think there wasn't gonna be a lock on the door? Of course there's gonna be a lock on the door or else we would have we got out by now. Okay, so how does this end? We died, we didn't make it out. It wasn't great for us. Where are we now? Okay, we're in some sort of basement. Oh, and Granny's there. Hi, Granny. I like your PS1 graphics. What do you want from us? Oh, she just... We fell through the floors? Baby Granny is a possessed person who's doing a demon's bidding and wants to eat our soul and keep us in this house. If anyone knows the Lord, let me know. Is that close to being right or is that completely wrong? Oh, I just now realized I was probably stuck in a bear trap in the corner a few minutes ago. And that's why I couldn't move. Cause there's a bear trap, I, t I forgot, I forgot. So that was an interesting first experience. Um, the game, I could definitely see being a lot of fun. Maybe even more so like if you don't have the ads and you're like under the blankets and it's dark out, I, I, I mean, I just, the jump scares weren't really there for me, but maybe if you had the volume all the way up, headphones in, I, I could see it could build a spooky atmosphere, but more so it just seemed like a game that you just want to beat. Like I definitely see me getting really into that game, just wanting to see what happens if I keep playing it. But that was one game. Let's move on to another one and see if that one's any spookier than this one was. The next scary game we are going to play is called Evil Nun. This one I'm really excited for because it's giving me like, scary movie vibes, you know what I'm saying? So let's let's find out. <clears throat> oh, and right away an ad. yikes a -roni. you know what I mean? Like the second I click into your app, the 30 second ad, but I guess in YouTube videos, you do get an ad before the video. I don't know, it's something about like playing a game. I don't know, okay, I digress. Eagles Junior School, 1962 to 1963. Congratulations, your child has been selected to participate free of charge in the new summer camp organized by their school. With our best care and attention, your child will spend an unforgettable summer. Okay, let's find out. Let's play. She hears everything you do. We call okay, didn't even get a chance to read that. <laughs> Alrighty. Interesting. You know, I have to say, I'm pretty darn impressed, though, with the graphics. Like, I know, like, they're definitely, like, lower quality, but for a mobile game, I don't know what I was expecting. I In my head, I guess I was really expecting, like, more, like... I don't know, like moving pictures or something, not like actual animations. Oh, okay, so we got dropped off for camp. They sped away and we just got hacked by a nun with an ax. You following along with the story? Cause I'm not. Day one, you must find a small cable to place it in the electrical box. It restores the, something. I am Vinny Gamer and I'm going to be good. I think I should look around before walking forward. Um, it seems like we are maybe in a Catholic school academy. That's the vibes I'm getting. There's a, t a countdown for some reason. Why is there a countdown that says closed? Okay, so now there's crouching. I feel like I'm a cat or a dog at this level. And you know, the room's not I'm not the nicest looking. It's a, it's a little dirty. It's a, it's a little, it's a little old, a little dusty, a little musty. Okay, there's a trap door. We are in some sort of ventilation. She said that she can hear us. So I'm assuming she can probably hear us stamping, stomping around. Oh, she has to hear that. Like we have to be so loud right now. So there's definitely like some lore. Oh, oh, am I supposed, I'm actually supposed to know something? I don't know, numbers, what numbers? <gasps> oh, well that got me. I was a little spooked right there. 
and an ad to really cement the spooky vibes. <laughs> Okay. Day two, you can look for the cable in the drawers on the kitchen. It is usually located there. So thank you for the tip. I really, I honestly did need that because I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, that's a creepy closet. Why is there like slash marks in it? So we can go in the closet and hide? Why would I want to go in the closet and hide? I don't know. That was creepy. Okay, well, these doors you would think would be locked, but they're not. Oh, there's blood smear. Oh, that's the thing we follow it. Ooh, okay. Okay, am I supposed to go out here? Oh, oh god, the sensitivity. Do you think this exit is fake? Oh, that's right. It seems the electrical current does not reach the switch, so I need to, like, go to the kitchen. That's right, kitchen. I need to go to the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? I don't know. It's blocked. Oh, she's right there. Oh, there's a glitch. Oh, okay. Oh, it's blocked. Um, well, she's definitely gonna come get me because she's right there. Oh, there she was. Oh, okay. Oh, she's right there. She's right there. She's straight around the corner. Oh, and there's fan art. Is there more lore to the story? Is this like, um, you know, part of a franchise that I'm unaware of? Oh, there's actual signs above the door. Well, that's helpful and makes sense. She's gonna be here. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. She's gonna be here. She, she's, she, oh, there she is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. 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 No. No. Oh, man. She got me. I didn't stand a chance. She has an axe. I'm a child. Okay, day three. You can look for the cable in the drawers of the kitchen. It's usually located there. Um, okay, that doesn't really help me any. It's the same tip as the day previously. So that's not great. You only have one tip for me, bud? I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that there's probably five days. I don't know if that's true. I didn't read anything that said anything about days. Um, that could be my fault for not knowing that. Oh, the bathroom. A uh, very disgusting bathroom. Oh my god. I think she'd clean a little bit. Like, what is the purpose here? Aren't we at, like, a summer camp? If we're at a summer camp, why are we, like, in a Catholic school academy kind of situation? Why are we the only one here? Why is there an evil nun? Why does someone speed away and drop us off? Why does she have an axe if she's, like, a possessed ghost? I got so many questions, <laughs> and I feel like there's just not enough story to answer my questions. Um, where do you think the kitchen is, guys? Because I have no freaking clue. Oh! Oh no, 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 ah, ah. Oh, you can crawl too? I wasn't expecting that. I, d I didn't know she could crawl for some reason. I thought she was immune to crawling. <laughs> or unable to crawl, immune to crawl, unable, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I tell you what though, these mobile games make my phone feel hot as lava. That's, that's really comforting. And I'm sure okay for my phone's longevity. I'm making no progress. Uh, I would really appreciate to know where the heck the kitchen is. Because I can't even make it there. Is this the kitchen? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, she got me. Oh my god, that scared me. What happened? Oh, wow, that got me good. That was that was unfortunate or fortunate timing, depending on what you were expecting. <laughs> the last day. Okay, we're on the last day. We're gonna ignore the light situation. We're gonna hopefully try to get to the kitchen. I'm not very hopeful though, to be honest. Sorry. It's just, you know, I have to leave the school. You know what, bud? Me too. Like, you just slowly wait for her to, like, make her rounds? Oh no, I locked it. Oh, she's definitely gonna hear that. But like, where is she? How do I know where she's at? She could be anywhere. Does she just randomly spawn in general? Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. What is that? Why is there just a- Oh, there's a kitchen! Oh, no freaking way! Am I actually gonna get this? Am I actually gonna get this? Oh, no! Okay, I'm gonna hide. I'm a little too excited. There she is! Oh my goodness! Yo, I think we're about to freaking get this wire. I mean, I think there's a lot more to the game than just getting a simple wire and getting out because there's like codes and locked doors and stuff like that. So I feel like there probably is a lot more to discover. But the fact that I made it to the kitchen, I am very proud of myself. Man, she is slow and has horrible posture, which I do feel like I have hor horrible posture from playing this game. So I don't know when she's going to be back. I feel like it's probably going to be quick. So not excited for that. <gasps> Is that it? I wanna drop it? Why would I wanna drop it? Should I hide again? 
I don't know. How often does she make her rounds? How fast does she respond to, to sound? I don't know. Because to me, she always just appeared. I'm so scared. I actually have it. I don't... Oh no, I don't want to die. But like, let's be real here. The fact that it took me to the last day to even get this part is like... It's not, it's not looking great for me. Can I just jump down in here? Oh, there's like a... There's a lot happening down there. Um... Okay. Not quite sure what that's about. Okay. Let's run to the door. <gasps> oh, man. That scared me. <gasps> no. You still have to leave the school. You can continue for one more day if you watch the advertisement. You know what? I'm going to say no. GG's. I didn't make it. I'm now part of the school forever. So what's happening? Oh, your face? Oh, that's a face. Oh, that's a face of nightmares. And now it's storming outside. The ambiance is very, it's a, a lot's happening. <laughs> now I have a mask on, and she threw me down, and the game's over, just like that. So, I... What's, what, what's the story? <laughs> if you know the story, you know more about the evil nun, if you know more about Granny, let me know. I barely scratched the surface of these games. So maybe the story unfolds later. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm very intrigued. But also, my phone feels like it's about to explode in my hand and I, I feel like it's time to call it quits here. <laughs> so going back to the original question, can mobile games be scary? Do they feel the same as if you're playing like a, a free indie game on the computer? Yeah, I would say so. While it did take me a little bit longer, I feel like to like dive into and get to the immersion factor, there definitely were a few moments where it got me, excluding the one where the thing fell off my wall, because that that's unfair, that was just dirty. Um, now you just have the added benefit of your hand being physically sweltering hot and full of sweat. And that's a benefit? <laughs> and that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the spookiness or lack thereof, I guess, depending on you. Let me know how how do you feel about it. Was it scary? Do you play scary mobile games? And if so, which ones? I would love to hear from you. And if you did like it, which I hope you do, please click my bell so you're notified when the next video goes live. And if you're looking for more spookiness, up on the screen right now is a playlist with all the scary games I have played thus far in this channel. So definitely go check it out if you want some more nightmare fuel. And until next time, keep the redness and I hope to see you again real soon. Deuces!